So YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And Jadavian Clowney, he is expected to make a return visit to the Browns tomorrow. Now, I honestly thought that this situation, this relationship was done. I thought that when we all remember last year when the Browns really wanted Jadavian Clowney and they offered him all that money, but he said, mm, no, I'm straight. So then this year, after they had the visit with him a couple weeks back and... It got reported that he was back home. And we were all thinking like, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I guess that's a wrap. Because that was one of the quickest, like, you know when, when news breaks that a player is visiting a facility. Uh, you hear about the visit and then you hear about, oh, well, it went good or it went bad. Or it went this or it went that. But when you hear about the visit and the player returning home the same day, it's usually not a good sign. But in this case, this is something different. But before we get into this... Make sure you tell somebody that you love them today. Make sure you tell somebody that you appreciate them. Make sure you give positive vibes to somebody because everybody needs it. Everybody needs positive vibes. Everybody needs that positive energy because it's, it's just way too much negativity going on in the world. It's way too much. And for us to contribute to that, it would just make stuff worse. So tell somebody you love them. Tell somebody you appreciate them. Uh, tell somebody. Just let people know that you're thinking about them. Anyway, back to this. Um, Jadavian Clowney. Imagine, and again, he's expected to sign with the Browns now. So not only are they scheduled to have a return visit, a second visit with him, but he's expected to sign with Cleveland. Now, of course, I know it's going to be a lot of people say Jadavian Clowney's overhyped. Jadavian Clowney's overrated. Jadavian Clowney is not that good of a player. And, but besides that, I think something, a, a better conversation to have and a more realistic conversation to have is with Jadavian Clowney, is the health. It's the health. That is the biggest thing with him, is health. Jadavian Clowney is not a bad player. He's not a bad player. Is he overrated? Maybe a little bit. Yeah, but y'all know I still wouldn't mind him on my team. I, I've been wanting Jadavian Clowney on, on my team. That's old news. Because uh, what he can do when healthy, like he gives you versatility, man. And he gives you quality versatility. Is he the best pass rusher in the world? No, he's not. Does he, have to, does he even have to be the best pass rusher on the Browns, though, after he signs? No, he doesn't. That's Miles Garrett. That's Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett's job uh, is to make Jadavian Clowney's job easier. Their number one pass rusher, their best pass rusher is, no, is number 95. Number 95. So Jadavian Clowney, if he does join, he don't got to be the best. That takes pressure off of him. That makes his plate that much lighter because it's less on his plate. But what he can do for your team when healthy now, when healthy, then again, that's the biggest thing. But what he can do for your team when healthy, he is a great run defender. He's a great run defender. And then uh, another thing on top of that. Like we talked about with the versatility. Jadavian Clowney, you need... Oh, hey, Jadavian, we need you... Hey, on this, we need you to set the edge. Okay, cool. All right, Jadavian Clowney, we need you to rush the passer. Okay, cool. I, oh, I got Miles Garrett on the opposite side of me. Oh, yeah, I'm straight. I'm straight. Jadavian Clowney, we need you to drop back. Okay, cool. I'm with it. He can do those different things, man. So this gives you not only a player, but a piece a piece that your defensive coordinator can use in different situations. A piece that your defensive coordinator can put in, into different situations and just create problems. Because that's a defensive coordinator's job, to create problems for opposing offenses. And if you, again, we, we thought about this scenario last year. It obviously didn't happen because last offseason for Jadavion Clowney was just crazy. I, I, <laughs> I never thought ever that that there would be an offseason like that, man. And I remember heading into free agency. I, I, was, I, ooh, I would have said, man, with Jadavion Clowney, he is guaranteed to be one of the first people that gets signed. This was last offseason. Not this past off, but last offseason. Oh, I, I was for sure that he was going to be one of the first people that got signed. And nope. And, of course, he, he did that to himself because he was like, no, nah, I don't want to sign it. I don't want to sign it. No, 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 no. He was getting offers, but he was like, no, nah, mm, nope. Ended up signing with the Titans. Didn't work out. They moved on. He's moving on too. 
Um, so with Jadavian Clowney, another thing, going back to last year, you know, there's been all that talk that Jadavian Clowney, he's not a big fan of training camp. He's not a big fan of training camp. Now, I, I really think that um, it will speak volumes how he goes about training camp this year. It'll speak volumes. But I, I think if he does end up signing with the Browns, I think that he will need to attend training camp. I really do. Because this will really show uh, how much of a team player Jadavian Clowney can be. Uh, this will really, it, it can immediately boost his stock. And, and it, it can, immediately, like right away. Because he's not known for being a training camp guy. He's not known for being the best team guy in the world. He's certainly not known for being the worst. But when it comes to the offseason, that's not known to be Jadavian Clowney's thing. And a lot of veterans, they don't like the offseason. They don't like the training camp and all that. They just want to get straight to it. But with Jadavian Clowney, I just feel like if, if he can attend this training, because he has a lot to prove. He got a lot to prove. Especially after last year. Like, you, you, your offseason is what your offseason was last season. So it's like, oh, you, you, you do all these declining deals. And I'm not saying anybody should settle, because I, I do not believe you should settle. But... Your offseason was what it was. You had opportunities to sign with these different teams. You declined them, and then you accepted the Titans off at the, the very last minute, like the last minute, right before the season started. And then you played a couple games with them, and unfortunately, you got hurt. Now, of course, no player gets hurt on purpose. Nobody, nobody goes out there and like, oh, you know what? I'm going to get injured today. No, they don't do that. But he got hurt. So last season for him was a very disappointing season. So it did not make him look any better. It did not add to his value. It didn't. So that's why I say, you got to come in here, go through training camp. Go through it. And I, I expect him to, especially if the Browns are getting ready to sign him, I expect him to go through training camp. I expect him to go through the whole thing and just really show these guys that he is a team player and he's really going to put it all out there for him. And hopefully for his sake, he can stay healthy. Because, again, that's been the biggest thing when it comes to Jadavian Clowney is him staying healthy. If he can do that, the sky is the limit. We know it is. The sky is the limit. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Wow, Jadavian Clowney getting ready to be a Cleveland Brown. Most likely. Of course, it ain't set in stone yet, but most likely it's getting ready to happen. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love you all. Again, I thank you for listening. Thank you for being able to come on here. We can have conversations about whatever's going on in football and really just life in general. Again, tell somebody that you love them. Tell somebody that you appreciate them uh, and let people know that you're thinking about them because everybody needs that checkup from time to time and everybody needs to know that they all loved. So I love y'all. I appreciate y'all and we out.